My name is Eric Biesen. I'm working in the Department of Pathology at Maastricht University in the Netherlands. Um, my uh, prime focus of our group is on uh, cardiovascular disease and more, mainly on uh, the inflammatory aspects of atherosclerosis. So the, the title of my talk here, uh, presented at, uh, at the 21th uh, International uh, Conference in, uh, of the International Academy of Cardiology, was on uh, uh, a quite a new feature that, that we uh, sort of happened to uh, sort of uh, observe in uh, one of our uh, pathology studies. And that was on uh, uh, the, 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 the expansion of uh, lymphatic vessels in the atherosclerotic plaque. So essentially what we did was uh, we looked into uh, high risk versus low risk atherosclerotic human plaques from uh, carotid anthracotomy uh, uh, specimen. And what we observed was that there was a striking increase of in, the, in, the, in the presence of uh, lymphatics in unstable plaque. Now, to get a better clue on what is actually happening there, we uh, uh, employed some uh, genomics and uh, bioinformatics strategies that led us to identify uh, 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 gene programs that are actually opportune and uh, co-expressed with the presence of uh, plaque lymphatics. So this, uh, one of these central genes, and we uh, identified a few candidates that might be uh, potentially interesting, um, was, uh, th th these candidates were screened uh, for their impact on uh, lymphatic and uh, lymphatic endothelium cell function, in most in particular uh, lymphangiogenesis. And what we saw was that uh, two of the four candidate genes were having an, a dramatic impact on the, the, the propensity uh, of uh, uh, anothelium to uh, display uh, lymphatic features and also to uh, sort of expand uh, and undergo uh, sort of uh, tube formation. So uh, we followed uh, up and we did some network analysis and this uh, uh, gave us a clue on what's actually happening there with one of these uh, key genes that we identified. And apparently uh, it's connected in some way to the CXL4, CXL12 uh, chemokine axis, which was known to be uh, to, to regulate lymphangiogenesis. So we did an in vitro, uh, exp in vivo experiment in mouse studies, and that showed us that uh, silencing of this axis was actually having a huge impact on uh, the presence and the expansion of lymphatics in atherosclerotic lesions with a potential uh, uh, impact on the, the, the whole atherogenic process. So uh, this brings me to the conclusion. So yes, indeed, there are uh, plaque lymphatics uh, in human plaque. Uh, they do have impact on atherosclerosis and we were able to identify how uh, uh, in the conditions of plaque atherosclerosis um, th this process is regulated.